<laughs> I agree, but the problem here is that you want to have massive trade lines, right? This is important. So in today's conversation, I want to talk to you about 10 big trade lines that approve you no matter what. And of course, we are speaking about business credit for bad or fair credit. Don't go anywhere. You're going to love today's conversation. I guarantee it. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Sir Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you are to ask me. If you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or a tea or vodka and let's roll. <laughs> In today's conversation, I want to speak to you about 10 massive trade lines that approve you no matter what. So if you're looking for business credit with fair or poor credit, you've got five types of key trade lines to consider. And here are the lenders who approve you for large amounts come rain or shine. First category, we have the credit cards. We have the Capital One 1.5% cash select, our score 9.5 over 10. And this card actually reports to Dun & Bradstreet, Experian the, and the SBFE, Small Business Financial Exchange. For this, you need to have a FICO score that goes from 670 to 850. But if you have a FICO score of 550 minimum with a Capital One Business Unlimited checking accounts with average daily balances ranging from 10,000 to 40K, they will approve you. OK, so that's really great. And with when we talk about this card, we are talking about a an APR that goes from 15.99% to 23.99% variable. And you even have an intro offer of 0% and that's that's the valid for 12 months okay you can also earn unlimited 1.5 percent cash back on every purchase with no minimums or expiration date so this is really good we love that and rewards will not expire for the life of the account and you can redeem your cash back for any amounts then we also have the bank of america business advantage travel rewards world mastercard our score nine over ten this card actually reports to down in bradstreet and the sbfe so th this they want you to have a FICO score of 685 to 850, but if you have a 540 minimum FICO with the Bank of America Business Advantage Relationship Banking Checking Accounts with $15,000 in average daily balances, you're in. It's all about having a strong relationship with the bank, okay? Having a strong NPR with the bank. And uh, this card is great for travel rewards, so you can earn travel rewards on uh, travel purchases booked through Bank of America, okay? You have an intro APR 0% for 9 billing cycles. This is really good. You have a regular APR that oscillates from 12.24% to 22.24% variable. There is no annual fee. And in terms of, uh, we, we love this uh, card because it's really great for business. If you travel frequently for business, this could be a great card for you, okay? So credit card, credit card, credit card. Let's, th let's talk about that. Can you believe that you can earn 3x points for every dollar you spend? When you make travel arrangements, I'm talking about flights, hotels, or rental car through the Bank of America Travel Center. This is fantastic. You also receive 1.5 points for every dollar spent on any business purchase, and there is no annual fee and no foreign transaction fee. Fantastic. So first category in, in terms of uh, trade lines, we are talking about credit cards business credit cards the second category we are talking about net 30 vendors okay with net 30 vendors you are talking about granger our score 10 over 10 and granger reports to down and bradstreet experience equifax credit safe sbfe and nacm and there's no annual fee for the for the granger account you can buy up to 2500 dollars for two months and initial trade lines if approved ten thousand dollars okay when it comes to granger you have a constellation of products okay you have over 1.5 million industrial and safety products offered i'm talking about safety and security lighting and electrical tools and test instruments cleaning and uh you have pipes holes tube and fittings plumbings and pumps etc okay and how do you actually apply for a granger uh, net 30 account you got to go to the granger's uh, website you're not a, you need to fill in the right information. You need to fill in other relevant business information. And you got to click Submit. And you just have to place your first prepaid order of $75 minimum. 
And if you have any question, please contact 1-800-GRANGER. So that's 472-4643. And that's really great. And you get approval within 24 hours, okay? And keep placing regular orders to build your business credit with Granger, And receive up to it dep- up to five thousand dollars, twenty five hundred to five thousand dollars for your net thirty account. So this is really great. And then you have Walmart for Business. This is the second net thirty account that actually uh, gives you a massive trade line. And the Walmart our score ten over ten. Walmart reports to Donna Bradstreet, Experian, and Equifax. There's no annual fee for Walmart. You have to buy up to two thousand dollars within the first two months, and the initial trade line if approved. Ten thousand dollars. Okay, with Walmart, you have a constellation of products, from office organization, to routing supplies, to tax preparation essentials, to office paper and stationery. You you have a business furniture. You have office electronics, business printing, retail essential, retail essentials rather. You have office supplies for businesses. You have shipping and moving. You have break room supplies. The whole nine years. Okay, you have business software. You have laptops printers, monitors, all the way to, well, I mean, you have everything. So it's all about making sure that your business really needs to spend in this category. So, okay. If you need more information about this topic, please go watch our video. We have uh, released a video specifically on this topic. And this is the top 10 net 30 accounts for new and established businesses. And that reports to Don and Bradstreet. There is no fee, no personal guarantee. The third category when it comes to massive trade lines we have business term loans folks are you with me here okay i have for you forward financing our score 9.5 over 10 we love forward financing because they are basically an online funder that specializes in providing small businesses and micro businesses with capital on short notice that's the keyword on short notice okay they, they will take care of you if you need the cash real quick and they emphasize technology, transparency, integrity, and speed. So their rates fall on the higher side though. And so, however, if your credit rating is limiting you to f- higher rate funders like banks or whatever, and you absolutely need funding, forward financing may be worth considering, okay? So minimum time in business, one to two years, credit score minimum 500, borrowing amount less than $50,000 all the way to a million dollars, okay? And minimum time to funding one day. This is fantastic. So what are the pros and cons here? Pros, you have excellent public reputation. You have relaxed credit score requirements, transparent terms and fees, and fast time to funding. What about the cons? Higher rates, interest rates, and you have expensive terms and fees, okay? Those are things you need to think about. But at the end of the day, if you need the cash real fast and you really just uh, want to get the cash and worry about the APRs and and the fees later on, go with forward financing. Money, money, money right money 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 at the end of the day if you get you can get the cash and do what you need to do go ahead and do it let's talk about reliant funding our score 9.5 over 10 here is another massive trade lines that you can uh, add to your business credit score to your business credit report and reliant funding is actually an alternative uh, business lender that provides short-term loans and uh, merchant cash advances okay there is no credit rating requirements to access their loans and you would just want to uh, again be cautious of reliance transparency regarding its terms and fees and minimum time in business one to two years required annual revenue at least one hundred thousand dollars and you can borrow from uh, less than fifty thousand dollars all the way to a million okay and what are the pros and cons here pros no credit score requirements the you also have multiple types of financing available High borrowing amounts, this is really good. You're talking about seven digits, you know, $1 million, this is good. And for the cons, the repayments are required frequently, not available to businesses in some industries, and the website advertising is not informative. And this is the transparency I was talking to you earlier about, and the application process can be slow, especially for equipment financing, and the customer service is rather inconsistent in our view, okay? But again, if you're looking for a large trade line to add to your business credit report you might want to consider them if you want to dig a little further into this topic please watch our video about 10 rare business loans that approve you no matter what we have no personal guarantee up to 10 million dollars 
let me talk to you about lines of credit folks if you want to add a massive trip line to your uh, business credit report you want to consider cap chase when it comes to lines of credit our score 10 over 10 and this is cap chase is really great they have done something fantastic they actually turns recurring revenue into growth funding so you no longer need to choose between scaling or diluting your company. In other words, you have external investors and you are diluting equity here. No, they will take care of you. So you really basically receive upfront cash flow to fund your growth. Okay. And you can grow your company or, or extend your runway with uh, one or more CapChase products. You can grow, you can extend, or you can earn. By earning, I mean you can lower your cost of capital. Okay. So this is really great. And the thing here is that with, uh, with, uh, Cap Chase, you just need to sign up. You need to sync your bank account, accounting software, and subscription management platform. This, if applicable, okay, because they will take care of you whether you are in IT or not. And so, once you uh, sync your bank account, accounting software, subs and subscription management platform, they will begin the underwriting process. And the terms are usually presented in less than 24 hours. So, they will think about so the amount you can borrow will be based on your uh, cash flows, your company's cash flows usually they want you to have uh, at least uh, three months of uh, operational history okay so this is what it is and in terms of uh, your revenue minimum one hundred thousand dollars but again the loan amount will depend entirely on your cash flows your cash inflows and cash outflows this is why they want you to sync your uh, bank account and your accounting software okay big decision time big decision time are you ready to go for the next line of credit are you looking for a line of credit at all, you know, to add a massive trade line to your business credit report? If the answer is yes, folks, you might want to consider Headway Capital. Our score 9.5 over 10. And this is uh, one of the rare companies on the market right now that offers a true line of credit. In other words, they offer a line of credit that is kind of similar to a small business loan, but with flexibility. You can borrow up to $100,000 and uh, the repayment term 18 12 or 24 months and there are no hidden fees okay and the, pre the payment frequency weekly or monthly you just have to choose which uh, frequency works for you and uh, you have clear payment terms interest does not compound and no penalty for early payoffs so this is really good and we love the fact that this is this line of credit is available to you 24 7 365 with funds deposited in your account by the next business day okay and uh we love the fact that this company has an underwriting scoring model an underwriting score model that looks at the big picture of your business not just your uh, credit score they look at the uh, cash flows and other uh, other data if you want to dig a little deeper into this uh, topic you might want to watch our show about the top 10 no credit check business lines of credit i'll be right back right after this don't go anywhere Welcome back, folks, to another section of the SM Sort of Kiwi Show. We are still having a conversation about 10 massive trade lines that approve you no matter what. I want to talk to you about another category. We have alternative loans, okay? And uh, in this category, I want to talk to you about national funding. Our score, 8.5 over 10. And national funding is an alternative lender that provides funding to small businesses that cannot yet get a bank loan, okay? It provides reasonable rates for an alternative lender as long as you fall on the lower range of its factor rates and origination fees and uh, minimum time in business one to two years credit score minimum 600 required annual revenue one hundred thousand dollars that's gross income and the borrow you can borrow from fifty thousand dollars all the way to a million and minimum time to funding one day this is really great okay and what are the pros and cons here you have uh, low credit score requirements discounts for repaying early no collateral required the application process is really fast and easy and funds are dispersed quickly and what about the cons rates can be expensive especially if you have a shaky cash flows or you have a lethargic balance sheet or depending on your industry you know some additional fees are charged and repayments are required frequently and we didn't like the fact that the website is not really transparent in terms of the fees okay 
end but overall if you're looking for money between if you're looking for a loan amount between uh, fifty thousand and one million dollars you might want to consider this lender next we want to talk about iou financial our score 9.5 over 10 and here is a short-term lender serving small businesses so if you are going the short-term route if you don't want to go then the traditional route you know this lender you can consider this lender they have a relaxed credit score requirements and uh, again you just have to think about the fees okay and what are the requirements here minimum time in business one to two years credit score 600 minimum okay and uh, the required annual revenue one hundred thousand dollars and here you can also borrow fifty thousand dollars all the way to a million and minimum time to funding 12 hours to 24 hours okay and we love the fact that in terms of pros and cons we love the fact that this lender has uh, borrower qualifications that are lower than what banks offer they have high borrowing amounts financing is suitable for quick business financing the application process is uh, pretty transparent in our view and the website advertising is clear and informative what about the cons just be sure that you will be paying expensive rates you might be paying some additional fees okay and they want you to repay frequently because they just you know they just want to uh, reduce their risk their credit risk and no long-term financing options are available okay so this is something to, to consider but overall this is a, this is a great trade line that you need to think about and uh, this is also a um, let's say a lender that you want to think about in terms of growing your business down the road so let's just have a quick conversation about uh, trade lines in general so if you are an entrepreneur trying to establish business credit it's important that you think about business trade lines because when we talk about trade lines we are speaking about things like sometimes you might hear the terms trade lines trade credit corporate trade lines or vendor accounts okay all this or they are they fall in the same category so a business trade line is a credit account between a business and a vendor okay typically a supplier or vendor will offer the business payment terms such as net 30 which means that the business can pay for purchases in 30 days rather than upfront so that's one category you also have uh, credit card issuers business credit card issuers okay you also have business lenders you have alternative lenders you have uh, also uh, credit unions so you have lines of lines of credit lenders it's important to understand that a business tree line whenever you have a relationship with a lender with a credit card issuer or with a vendor you have a business tree line and this is an item that can go to in your um, business credit report your SBFE data your uh, DNB your Dun & Bradstreet your Equifax or your experience data okay it's important what are the pros and cons of business tree lines in general well when we talk about pros you need to understand that they can improve cash flows some t some tree lines are easy to approve especially for example if you are if you want to have a relationship with uh, Walmart for instance you want to open a net 30 account with them it's a relatively easier than getting say a 1 million uh, loan from uh, Chase okay and uh, these three lines are often available to startups and established businesses and on-time payments can help build business credit scores over time what about the cons here credit limits may be usually uh, small initially and this is uh, some in some cases new businesses may be charged fees and you may forfeit a discount for faster payment and the bottom line is you need to have a large let's say a large uh, trade lines but it's all about your cash flows obviously i want to talk to you about big business trade lines but the question is do you need a big business trade line it's all about your cash inflows and cash outflows if you are in an industry where you need cash to expand to buy more inventory to hire staff and uh, if you just need extra cash then you want to go for a big trade line but if you're an industry that is lethargic at the moment or that's just uh, or you don't have you haven't found any opportunity to uh, to to expand your business or you're not interested at the moment to expand your business then you want to go for a an average trade line the bottom line is if you want to increase your paydex score in other words your credit score produced by Dun & Bradstreet you want to have trade lines for example that paydex score requires three tree lines to calculate a score three
and it's also important to understand that to get a business, uh, let's say to get a tree line for your uh, business, you don't have to have established business credit. In other words, you may have poor credit or fair credit at the personal level or no credit at the business level and you can still qualify. The important thing is to know which categories you want to go after, right? In this show, I gave you five categories. I spoke to you about net 30 vendors, business loans. I spoke to you about business lines of credit. We spoke about net, uh, we spoke about alternative loans, okay? And we spoke about business term loans. So we also spoke about business credit cards. So you may want to go after two or three trade lines. You don't want to go after the five. Remember that Don and Bradstreet want you to have at least three trade lines. Okay, but they haven't talked about three categories of trade lines. So you may go after two. You can you can choose to have two business credit cards and two net 30 vendors. There will be four. And that's way above what Don and Bradstreet, for example, is, requir is requiring. The bottom line is that business trade lines are legal. But in the, in the industry, we have heard some questionable practices associated with something called seasoned trade lines. So some companies, including some credit repair firms, offer to sell seasoned trade lines to help business owners establish credit quickly. Okay. One thing I want to say here is that do not fall for those things. Okay. They might ask you, they might establish a corporation and open accounts under their corporate name with the goal of flipping it. So they will sell uh, this chef corporation to another business with a promise that it will immediately have access to thousands of dollars in credit lines but rarely does this turn out to be true so bottom line here is that do not do that okay do not do that you want to do things the right way the proper way you want to you want to increase your business credits you want to build this credit the right way and so you want to contact the vendors that i have uh, given you in today's conversation and you can gradually start building business credit before I get into, before I finish today's show, I want to show you our uh, loan evaluation approach. We do have a strict methodology on this show when it comes to uh, talking about, when it comes to evaluating, categorizing, and reviewing business trade lines, especially business loans. Check this out. folks this is it for today's conversation i was talking to you about the top 10 massive trade lines that approve you come rain or shine first category we have credit cards number two net 30 vendors number three we have term loans number four we have lines of credit number five we have alternative uh, loans and i gave you a nice overview to explain the the, the context explain the, the the topics thank you so much for your attention i'll see you next time but until then remember stay Marvelous. <laughs>